Hello again. Welcome to Test Automation Simplified for another video and series APM tutorial. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step guide for downloading and installing APM on Windows. Let's first see all the prerequisites to start with mobile automation with APM on Windows. So we need Java JDK, Android SDK. If you are going to use real Android device, then you need to install USB drivers. We also need to configure Java Home and Android Home environment variable. And lastly, we need to install APM app. Alright, let's see the first step. Visit Google and search for JDK download. Click on the first link. On Java SE download section, you will see JDK download button. Click on it. Select accept license agreement. Depending on your Windows OS whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit, select file accordingly. For 32-bit OS version, select Windows x86 file. Once file download is complete, double click on file to open it. An installation window will pop up. Click on next and follow the instructions. On C drive on your PC or laptop, you will see two program files folder, program files and program files x86. 32-bit programs will get copied to program files x86 and 64-bit programs will get copied to program files folder. Let's open program files x86 folder. Look for Java folder, click on it. You should see at least two folders, JDK and JRE. Click on JDK folder. If you don't see JDK and JRE folder here, look for other program files folder. Copy the path of JDK. We need this path to configure Java Home. Now open control panel, click on system icon, click on advanced system settings, click on environment variable. This window has two sections, user variable and system variable. Click on new which is under system variable, a new system variable window will pop up. Type java underscore home for variable name. And for variable value, press the JDK path that you have copied. Click on OK. Now look for a path variable. Select path variable and click on edit. Click on new. And value as percent Java underscore home percent backslash bin and click on OK. Visit Google again and search for download Android Studio. Click on the first organic search result. Now you can download Android Studio which will also install Android SDK but you really don't need it if you just want to automate Android applications. In that case, you just need to install Android SDK tools. Scroll down to get just command line tools. Click on file corresponding to windows, select checkbox and click on download button. Once download is complete, open the file, an installation wizard window will pop up. Just follow the installation instructions. Once installation is complete, keep start SDK manager checkbox check and click on finish. Android SDK manager window will open. Note down SDK path, we will require this path to set up Android home variable. Under Tools section, select Android SDK Tools, Android SDK Platform Tools, select Latest Android API and any Android API as per your testing needs. Make sure Google USB driver is selected. Once selection is done, click on Install Packages. Select Accept Licenses and click on Install. This will install Android packages that you have selected. It will take a while to download all the files. Open control panel. Click on system icon. Click on advanced system settings. Click on environment variable. Click on new. Add variable name as android underscore home and variable value as android jdk path. and click on OK. 
Now we need to update path variable value. Select path variable and click on edit. Click on new and add two values. Percent Android underscore home percent backslash tools and percent Android underscore home percent backslash platform iPhone tools. To check whether Android home and path variable is set correctly, open a command prompt window and type Android. This command should open Android SDK Manager. Are you going to use real Android device for mobile testing? If yes, then we need to make sure that APM can send and receive command from Android device. In order to allow this communication, we need to install USB drivers and set up ADB for your device. Let's see how to set up ADB and a USB driver on your PC or laptop to be able to see and communicate with Android device. If you already have USB driver for your Android device, go ahead and install it or you can Google Android OEM USB drivers and click on search. Click on the link as shown in this video. Scroll down to OEM's drivers table. Here you can find list of USB drivers for different OEMs. You can select and install USB driver as per your device manufacturer. Download USB driver and install it. Go to settings on your Android device. Scroll down to about phone. Tap on it. Scroll down to build number. Keep tapping on a build number until you see message as you are now a developer. Go back to settings again. You would now see developer option in settings. Tap on it. Enable developer option. Click on OK. Enable USB debugging. Click on OK. Now connect your Android device to your laptop or PC with USB cable. You would get a pop-up message to allow USB debugging. You may check always allow from this computer checkbox and click on OK. Open a command prompt window and type ADB devices. This command should list your Android device ID as shown here. Visit apm.io website. You'll see download APM button on a home page. Click on it. It will download APM app save file. Once download is complete, extract zip folder. Open APM app folder. Double click on APM installer exe and follow the instructions. Once installation is complete, launch APM app. Alright, this concludes this chapter. We are now ready to write our first APM automation test which I will discuss in the next video.